Britain's Tour of Britain gets underway today with some of the world's top cyclists competing over five stages. Stage one is in Suffolk and it's 112 kilometres or 70 miles long. It starts in Bury St Edmunds and finishes in the coastal town of Alborough. The winner of last year's race, Marianne Voss, is missing through injury and the Commonwealth road race champion Lizzie Armistead is one of the favourites to win. I've been asked quite a bit if it's sort of encouraging that she's not here but actually it's not I will miss her in this race she's an aggressive rider and that's the kind of rider that I like to race alongside um, it would have been nice to have a duel with her is it putting too much pressure on you to suggest that you might be the favorite uh, you know that's been that's been said that I'm the favorite coming into this but it's it's a difficult race to win there's um, sort of a lot of bunch sprints which are hectic and dangerous and you need a little bit of luck to win those so I hope that I'll be able to pull off a result but I'm not I'm not 100% sure of it. Laura Trott will be looking forward to stage four on Saturday as it starts in Broxbourne in Hertfordshire, which is where she grew up. The double Olympic champion thinks Armistead should be the favourite. I mean, she's number one in the world at the minute, so how can you not say that you're the favourite? Um, and like, she's just been going incredibly this year. Um, and I think last year she got pretty unlucky in a lot of the stages. Like, she had a few crashes. So it'll actually be nice to see um, what she can do and actually see her up there on the podium. So many people have come out today, and that's just for the team presentation. Last year was absolutely unbelievable. Like, the roads were just lined with people. Like, for the girls who um, race in Europe uh, day in, day out, like, they said that this was one of the best events on the calendar. So that just proves what it was like and what the atmosphere was like. I think a lot of people thought that you wouldn't get crowds like that for just a women's race on its own. I think a lot of people thought that you have to have a men's race and the women's race supporting it. But this was a standalone women's event, no men racing anywhere to be seen, just the women, the stars of the show, and all the crowds came out. So that was the first time that's really happened in women's cycling, so that was brilliant. Well, another contender to watch is Lucy Garner, the Sky Academy scholar who finished seventh last year, explained why she had those nasty looking cuts on her legs. Two days ago I was racing um, in Belgium and I actually had two crashes in one race which was really unfortunate so yeah they were quite hard crashes but hopefully I'm yet yeah, recovered to start tomorrow yeah. Do they, do they look worse than they are? Um, no, it was pretty painful. Yeah, it was painful, but no, the second day is always the worst, they say, so I'm hoping tomorrow I'm just going to get better and better throughout the, yeah, throughout the tour. It was a tough race last year. I wasn't here with my team. I was with GB, but um, no, it'll be, yeah, there's a lot.